Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial on statistics using Python. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to do statistical operations in Python, sum a set of numbers and find their mean, median and standard deviation. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3 and IPython 5.1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to load data from files, use lists, and access parts of arrays. If not, see the prerequisite Python tutorials on this website. For this tutorial, we will use the data file student underscore record dot txt, which we used in the earlier tutorial. You can also find this file in the code files link of this tutorial. Please download it in home directory and use it. We will use mathematical and logical operations on this array structured file. For this we need to install NumPy. NumPy stands for Numerical Python. It is a library consisting of pre-compiled functions for mathematical and numerical routines. NumPy has to be installed separately. Let us first open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T keys simultaneously. Let us install latest pip. Pip command is used to install Python libraries. Type sudo apt-get install python3-pip. Press enter. You need to have root access for installation as it asks for admin password. Next, we need to install NumPy library as we will be using NumPy library throughout the tutorial. Type sudo pip3 install numpy is equal to is equal to 1.13.3 and press enter. The installation is completed successfully. We can see the terminal prompt without any error. Next we will learn about load txt function. To get the data as an array we use the load txt function. For load txt function we need to import numpy library first. Switch back to the terminal. Now type ipython3 and press enter. Type import numpy as np and press enter. Where np is alias to numpy and it can be any name. Let us load the data from the file student underscore record dot txt as an array. Type l is equal to np dot load txt inside parenthesis inside quotes student underscore record dot txt comma use calls is equal to inside parenthesis three comma four comma five comma six comma seven comma delimiter is equal to inside quotes semicolon and press enter type L and press enter. We get the output in the form of an array. Load txt loads data from an external file. Delimiter specifies the kind of character that the fields of data is separated by. Use call specifies the columns to be used. Load txt, delimiter and use calls are keywords. So columns 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 from student underscore record dot txt are loaded here. The comma between column numbers is added because use calls is a sequence. As we can see L is an array. We can get the shape of this array using shape. Type L dot shape 
and press enter. We get a tuple giving the numbers of rows and columns respectively. In this example, the array L has 1,85,667 rows and 5 columns. Let us switch back to the student underscore record dot txt file. Let us start applying statistical operations on these. How do you find the sum of marks of all subjects for the first student? Switch back to the terminal. To access the first row in an array, we will type L inside square brackets 0 and press enter. Now to sum this, type total marks is equal to sum inside parenthesis L inside square brackets 0 and press enter. Type total marks and press enter. We got sum of marks of all subjects of the first student. Now to get the mean we can divide the total marks by the length of the array. Type total marks divided by length inside parenthesis L inside square brackets 0 and press enter. Or simply use the function mean. Type np dot mean inside parenthesis L inside square brackets 0 and press enter. But we have such a large data set and calculating the mean for each student one by one is time consuming. Is there a way to reduce the work? For this we will look into the documentation of mean. Type np dot mean question mark and press enter. Read the text for more information. Type Q to exit the documentation. In the above example, L is a two-dimensional array like matrix. We can calculate the mean across each of the axes of the array. The axis of rows is referred by 0 and columns by 1. To calculate mean across all columns, we have to pass extra parameter 1 for the axis. Switch back to the terminal. Let us calculate mean of the marks scored by all the students for each subject. Type np dot mean inside parenthesis l comma zero and press enter. Next, we will calculate the median of English marks for all the students. Type l inside square brackets colon comma zero and press enter. Note colon comma 0 displays first column in the array that is English mark. To get the median we will simply use the function median. Type np dot median inside parenthesis l inside square brackets colon comma 0 press enter. For all the subjects we can calculate median across all rows using median function as shown here. Type np dot median inside parenthesis l comma 0 press enter. Similarly, to calculate standard deviation, we will use the function std. Standard deviation for English subject can be found by typing np dot std inside parenthesis l inside square brackets colon comma zero press enter and for all rows we do np dot std inside parenthesis l comma zero 
and press enter. Pause the video here. Try out the following exercise and resume the video. Refer to the file football.txt that is available in the code files link of this tutorial. Download and save the file in the present working directory. Currently the present working directory is the home directory. In football.txt the first column is player name, second is goals at home and third is goals away. Find the total goals for each player, mean of home and goals away, standard deviation of home and goals away. Switch to the terminal. The solution is first type L is equal to NP dot load txt inside parenthesis inside quotes football dot txt comma use calls is equal to inside parenthesis one comma two comma delimiter is equal to inside quotes comma press enter np dot sum inside parenthesis l comma one and press enter the answer for second np dot mean inside parenthesis l comma zero and press enter third np dot std inside parenthesis l comma zero and press enter this brings us to the end of the tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to do the standard statistical operations like sum mean median and standard deviation in python here are some self assessment questions for you to solve given a two dimensional list as shown how do you calculate the mean of each row second calculate the median of the given list third there is a file with six columns but we want to load text only from columns 2 3 4 5 how do we specify that and the answers to get the mean of each row we just pass 1 as the second parameter to the function mean np dot mean inside parenthesis 2 underscore dimensional underscore list comma 1 we use the function median to calculate the median of the list np dot median inside parenthesis student underscore marks third to specify the particular columns of a file we use the parameter use calls is equal to inside parenthesis 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 please post your timed queries in this forum please post your general queries on python in this forum fossi team coordinates the tbc project spoken tutorial project is funded by nmeict mhrd government of india for more details visit this website that's it for this tutorial this is Truptikini from IIT Bombay signing off thank you